hello there guys in this video I'm gonna show you one of the issues that many people face when working with point-of-sale tutorials uh, well first the program I wrote uh, was made th about three years ago I was using an old visuals version of visual studio 2008 uh, now I'm using uh, 2013 community edition uh, the problem in short is in this statement uh, let me see let me show you where the issue is basically visual studio will not compile when you write this the one of the statement that exists in the tutorials so here you have RDS and you can search for that in the entire solution here okay uh, there we go we have this statement this statement is causing an issue on some machines, especially ones who are using Visual Studio 2010. So what's happening? First, let me show you the issue. When you run here, it compiles successfully. Now, the reason for that is basically I'm using an old version of the library. So if I click here, uh, you'll find there's something something here, a piece called references. This is uh, links to the libraries that this program is using and uh, here I'm using for, uh, the reporting library so if you go to one forms here go to the right you'll find version this is version 9 and if you go to common also this is version 9 and these comes uh, usually with Visual Studio 2008 no problem there so I'm gonna remove these two okay and now I, I got a copy let me show you this is uh, a new library this is the one usually that comes with uh, Visual Studio 2010 so here I'm gonna put references to these instead so I'm gonna add a reference uh, I'm gonna browse here and let me go to desktop here I'll select this one uh, add and to browse again and select this one and add so we have to here I'm gonna hit OK now if I click on this one what do you see version 10 and if I click on the second one you will see version 10 okay so these are now the libraries that exist in Visual Studio 2010 now if I try to compile the code without changing anything okay I just got the error this is the error where many people are getting uh, over resolution failed because of blah 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 right so double click on that and it will uh, Visual Studio will take you to the statement that's causing the error now what's happening is uh, in version 9 uh, there was uh, not many constructors okay but in in version 10 uh, more versions of this constructor exist so here well, Visual Studio doesn't know which constructor to use here we have seven different constructors you have this one you have this one okay you have this one you have this one this one and this one okay uh, while in version 9 you only have what you have three so let me show you uh, let me remove this one remove this one again and let me add a reference but this time I will use the assemblies and I will say report there we go Microsoft report to viewer one forms and okay this is version 9 I'm gonna hit OK and if I build that I get no errors now not only that if I press the space here you see that there's only a three constructors so the reason for the error is that the compiler is confused, doesn't know which version of the constructor to call when using the new library. So you have to, to solve this. Okay, so in order to solve that, I will uh, add the new references again. Uh, I'll do the browse uh, Microsoft Report Reviewer here. Oops. Okay, these two guys only. And okay, so now we have version 10. We also got the error again. So what are we trying to do here? I am setting a name, okay, and also I am uh, passing a data table. So instead of using this one, okay, I'm gonna copy the statement, okay. I'll comment one because I want to see the reference just so that I remember because uh, 
you know, I did the code a long time ago, so usually I'll forget that. So I'm gonna uh, remove this one, and instead of using the constructor, I will call it uh, later on. So RDS dot name equals. I'll just copy this name. Very easy, very straightforward. So I'm gonna copy this. Control V. So we fix the first one. RTS dot uh, data source, I suppose, right? Uh, wait a second. Oh, it's the value. I'm sorry. It's the value equals. I'll pass the data table. So just copy this here. Go back and control V. Very straightforward. Now let us build this one. Okay, there are other places, so it seems that I made multiple mistakes here, right? So instead, I will uh, just close this one and say rds.name equals uh, like that and uh, rds.value equals. Let me move this bracket over here. It's very straightforward. You, you do this for, for the rest. Okay. Uh, let me compile again. Let's see what did we forget. Oh, so two other places. Okay, not a big deal. RDS dot name equals something like that. And and we have RDS dot value equals go to this guy okay and the last one uh, yep close that and rds dot name equals here wonderful and rds dot value equals we've got this guy and that's it this should solve the issue so now we run the application it works and compiles successfully because the compiler is not confused about which version of the constructor to call so i enter here no problem i just go to report and see if they work i hope they work uh, sure report and yeah the report is being rendered so everything works fine so what is the difference what did happen here uh, very simple, if you are compiling on Visual Studio 2010, uh, it will use a reporting library that is version 10, not version 9. So you just uh, don't use the values in the constructor, instead you replace this one line with the three ones. You pass the name, the value and separate lines and everything should work perfectly fine. Okay, and uh, this is it. Uh, hope this uh, uh, can solve the issue for you guys. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.